Ken Surrett, Lawrence Pro Staff with Wild West Bass Trail. I'm here today to talk a little bit about Insight Genesis. Insight Genesis from Lawrence at Lawrence.com. You log your sonar, you record your sonar, you upload it to the website, and you create your own in-depth contour line maps of the places you fish. Insight Genesis is a program by which you can record and log all the sonar coverage of the bottom of the lake while you're fishing, idling around. So the Insight Genesis website takes that and converts it to a contour line map in the places you fish. For Insight Genesis mapping that you see here on my screen, take a blank SD card, which in this case, the MMC card, it's a micro SD card for the Lawrence Gen 3s. Now, to start recording, you go to a sonar screen of some kind. Let's go here. And then you go to advanced, go to log sonar, and the sonar file name, I'm just going to leave, I could change that if I wanted to, the format can change, but you can leave it the same because you're just going to upload these onto the Lawrence's Insight Genesis website. So <laughs> you can save it to the internal hard drive that's in here, which you can't really access, but it could be there for later use, the right side card slot or the left side card slot, and I put mine in the left, so I'll choose left. So now I'm going to record, hit record here, to record my sonar wherever I go this today. You can see the red dot in the upper left hand corner of each screen is blinking. That means that the recording is going on. Now every 20 or 30 seconds, a dialog box will show up here and show the file size and things like that. Keep an eye on that because when you get to about 1.8, 1.9 gigabytes, stop the file by going into advanced and log sonar and hit stop because the Insight Genesis website, if you upload a file bigger than two gigabytes, it really doesn't work well. So stop them at 1.8, 1.9 before they get to two gigs and start another one. When you're logging your sonar, there's also GoFree that you'll see on the Lawrence.com and GoFree is a wireless connectivity to the internet and you can actually convert your sonar log to Inside Genesis map and through the connectivity and your Wi-Fi it can in about 20 to 30 minutes it'll download that map right onto your unit and you'll have that map available for use that same day without even going off the water. This is the screen that you do that. I'm going to cancel it because I'm not going to do that today. So I've stopped my sonar log. Now to start a new sonar log I just go back and, and let's say that you were fishing along and you see that you had to change that, hit menu on a sonar screen, go to advanced, go to log sonar, it'll say sonar log 2 because we already saved file 1, so file 2, it's gone my memory card left, hit record and now you're good for another five or six hours of time. So you might have to do two files if you fish for eight to ten hours in a day and then upload those when you get home. I've got a chip loaded into this unit that I downloaded all my sonar logs as I did those sonar logs and I uploaded them onto my account at Insight Genesis. All those merged trips now became a lake map of this lake that I'm on and all the places that I've fished and all the contour lines. For example, here are two humps that are out offshore, obviously, as you can see in our background, we're in the Tule's, nice at that waypoint right here where we're sitting. And out, just out to the side of us here in the deep water, it's 30, 35 feet deep out here. You got 12 foot humps coming up. Well, these humps, I've seen a lot of aftermarket mapping that's available for purchase and on Clear Lake, it does not show either one of those humps. But you can see the detail that I have by having gone over this area while I was fishing. What I did was I logged my sonar, I uploaded it onto the Insight Genesis website and it took all that coverage area and look at the contour lines and it showed these humps in such detail that now they're fishable without even going over them. When I upload my trails to my account, I have a choice there to make them keep them private so that when you're out on the water, all the work that you do and the time you spend logging your sonar, you can keep those for just your use or you can make them public. And I chose to make these public so on Clear Lake there's a bunch of trips that anybody can download and use in their unit. In your account you have a place where you can put up to six serial numbers 
of your HDS units. And when you download from the Insight Genesis website onto a card to use in your unit, if you have HDS Gen 2 units, it takes the full SD card. And on the HDS Gen 3, the format changed to the micro card. But the serial numbers, what that does is, when you download from your account, you're paying for the service of downloading those maps and use them in your units. It's encrypted, so it'll only work in the units that you input your serial numbers on. So it protects all your work and keeps it proprietary for your use only. Now, when I uploaded my trips and I made them public, that allows you, the public, to download those trips and use them for your own use. I'm willing to share my information and the time I put out here doing all these trips. So Insight Genesis is a way to get lake maps of maybe small ponds or lakes that don't have any mapping available, that are not maybe private lakes. You can go around in your boat and do a grid system and cover all that water and have a contour line map of a lake that is only available to you. Take this information about Insight Genesis, go to lawrence.com, click on the Insight Genesis link, create your own free account, upload your sonar logs, and view your contour line maps of your fishing areas online for free. And for a small charge, you can download those same maps to a chart that works in your HDS unit. Then you can fish with confidence on your spots next time you're on the water.